Hey everyone, Sadie here, and I am going to walk you through a new program called Planify Pro. Everyone knows that I love Canva, but when it comes to creating planners, they leave a little bit to be desired. So I've discovered this Planify Pro and I've started using it. I really like it. The ease of use is there. The templates are there. And there's a lot more templates than what they have in Canva. Uh, and whenever you resize your planners, which I talk about in my how to create planners and sell them on Etsy posts, it's just one click. With Canva, when you resize planners, sometimes you have to resize the entire canvas, all the little elements. Sometimes they're squished, sometimes they're too little. So with Planify, probably one of the best features is just that one-click resizing. I love it. Before we dive in, I do want to cover the commercial use. Because for me, I use this to create and sell planners. If you're using Planify just to create planners for fun for you, then you can use the personal account. It's like 10 bucks a month, no worries. However, if you want to sell planners that you create, you need to sign up for the commercial use and that's about 20 bucks a month. You can get a discount for paying by the year. It's a very clear license. It shows you what is acceptable. Commercial use, no limit examples. Commercial use with limit examples. So uh, they do limit you to a thousand planners a month. If you're selling more than that, they ask that you contact them and work something out. And then they have the non-acceptable use. What you can do with a commercial license. And it tells you, you know, whenever creating an end product from a pre-made template, Make sure you change it up. That is just something that you should do no matter what the rules are. If you're using a template, you should never just sell it as is. Uh, and as of now, and as of the recording of this video, you are not allowed to create freebies and give them away. That is important to understand because most places are fine with you creating freebies and giving them away. So if you're creating planners, you can sell them. You cannot give them away. Now let's hop in and explore. This is the hub. This is where you land when you first log in. You can join their Facebook group if you haven't already. And you can also click here to learn. This is where they have some tutorials. They have tons of different templates to choose from. And you can also search templates. If you have a certain template you want to use, click on explore. And then you can type in something like finance. And they have nearly 2,000 templates and 128 of them pull up for finance. So then you would just click on one of them and edit it before you go and sell it. If you click on creators, you can find different creators. This is a new platform. So right now there are some bugs, there are some things that need to be worked out. And there aren't a ton of creators, but the, the numbers are growing. There are articles, again, to learn. And this is actually how I learned about recipes. I kept seeing in, in what I was reading about recipe codes, and I was like, what? So I clicked over into this post, and it says 10 planner ideas for your planner system. And then once you scroll through, if you find a planner that you like, say that you want to copy this uh, basic lists and to do, then you grab this recipe code and you type it in whenever you're creating. I'll show you that in just a second. Okay, so I wrote a few of these recipe codes down. So whenever we go into create, I can grab them and show you what it looks like. Uh, but read the articles, read the tutorials, learn everything you can about any program that you are using. You can become an affiliate, which I did apply for. So if you see a link below that says sadiesmiley.com forward slash planify, that means it's my affiliate link and I do appreciate you signing up with that link. There are plenty of templates for you to look through on the hub side, on the explore side, and also in the articles. Six home maintenance planners to try, seven fold out planners. They're constantly adding here. Again, we have the learning hub where you can read about other sellers experience with selling planners, how to make different planners, how to make sticker sheets, all kinds of fun stuff. And then we go to create. 
I'm going to start from scratch completely so you can see exactly what you're going to see when you first log in. This over here on the left is where you insert recipe codes. So I have REA539. And then you click Find Recipe. It tells you that you can apply the planner and add your pages to your workspace or just apply the style. If you want to apply the style, then it's going to copy basically the outliner design. If you want to apply the planner, then it's going to do the whole thing. I'm going to move myself over here so we can see down here there's some stuff. This is a calorie tracker and it's got every day of the week. It's got the full week for your calorie intake by the day and then it's got breakfast, lunch, dinner, snacks. There's lots of things you can do here. You can change the header here and whenever you click on that it's going to pull up all of these fonts. You can find the font that you normally use that matches your branding or you can do something fun. It doesn't matter. Whatever you want to do, just do it. Play around, have some fun with it. And then once you get to the point where you're used to this kind of thing, then you can start saying, okay, what are people going to want? And you can look at other examples on Etsy and Pinterest and then use those to decide how to create your planners. You can change the text color here. You can change the placement of the title if you want it to be centered, left, right, and then you just click on the other side if you want it to look the same. One thing that's interesting about this is that when you edit on the left side, it doesn't necessarily translate over to the right side, and that's interesting because when I tried to switch the templates out and have one template on the left and one on the right, it wouldn't let me. So you're working with both pages, and if you need to, you can zoom in, and you can also just select the left or the right because when you're zoomed in, the right side is covered by your dashboard over here on the right. So I usually just zoom out as much as I can. My eyes are not as great as they used to be. Uh, and then I work from there. You can change the body text. You can add a footer if you want to add, say, that your website. So it says footer text right here. I would put my website, and this is a calorie tracker, so I would put it on my food website. Down here, you can click on templates, styling, text, widgets, layouts, or size. What I absolutely love about Planify is that you can change everything with one click. If you want to change this from a mini happy planner size to an A4, it changes all in one click, and the best part about it is that you don't have to redo anything. With Canva, and whenever you resize, a lot of times you have to drag the elements or the text to make them bigger or smaller to make it look the same. This is one click. And if you've read my blog post about how to create planners and sell them on Etsy, one of the best selling points for your planners can be that you offer all the different sizes. Do be sure not to use anything like Happy Planner, Erin Condren, etc just use the measurements. So for the mini happy planner, you would use seven inches by 4.63 inches. Anyone who is looking for a mini happy planner is going to know that size. Do not get in trouble with Etsy. Do not use anything copyrighted or trademarked. That also includes any fonts that you're using. Make sure that you have permission to use them. Any graphics you're using, do not use Disney or anything that resembles something trademarked on anything you're selling. And we're going to go back to the mini happy planner size just because it's easy to work with. I'm going to zoom in a little bit and we're going to go over to templates. There are lots of different templates you can use. There are daily schedules. There are to-do lists. There are, let's see, vitamin tracker, weekly planner, monthly overview. Uh, there's so many. You can even create the cash envelopes in Planify. Yes. And those sell so well. People love to buy the cash planning envelopes. They're, they just love them. So you choose one background, do a couple clicks, choose a different background and color, and then you've got 10 sets of cash envelopes that you can sell digitally or print them out and sell them as physical products and it only took you a few minutes of time. Then you go over to styling. This is where you can make it really your own. So if you're using someone else's template, this is the spot you wanna make sure that you come in and you change it up. 
You can change it up with the background. You can change it up with graphics, text, colors, frames, borders, everything. Here's some recommended color themes if you want to change the colors. There's tons of color palettes here. I really like this color theme that we've got going. Uh, and then up at the top, I totally forgot about this part. You can change the style of your planner. So this is the original. And then you can change it to seamless, where it's all pushed together. Classic. Classic seamless. Simple. Modern. Minimalist. I like modern. All right, so the website that I'm doing this for actually tracks bytes mostly, not calories. So I changed it to daily bytes, and then over here on the left, there's different trackers that you can use. All right, love that. You can change the row height and the dots colors, and you can really get into it and change a whole lot of stuff. I do not like this text at all. I like the hand-drawn borders. You could do a stitched border. You can change the color if you want it to be pink. You can add different graphics. There's different trackers. This would be a good one for like pounds lost if you're doing a fitness type tracker. I really like this. Progress not perfection. Make today better. These are cool. I have not dove into these yet. This makes me very happy. <laughs> All right, so those are the widgets. Uh, under layout, you can change the layout. I'm not going to because I like how this layout looks, but all of these are different options and it will take the info that you have in here and change it to this layout. I think I like how this looks, so I'm going to export and it does take a moment, but it shows you up here on the left-hand side that it is working. And once it's finished, you just click download. I love this. I don't love this font. I definitely will change that font because it's all caps. If it wasn't all caps, it would be fine. Uh, but I just wanted to show you guys real quick how easy it is to make planner pages. Uh, there are tons of planner sellers on Etsy. Head over to Etsy, look up digital planner pages, and you will find a million to use as inspiration for your planner creations. If you have any questions about Planify, please leave them in the comments below because I'm learning Planify right alongside you guys, so I would love to be able to answer those with another tutorial. If you haven't checked out the Digital Business Bank, go to sadiesmiley.com forward slash DBB, dog boy boy. Uh, that is my course where I teach you how to create digital products for Etsy. Now that is using Canva, but I do cover planners a little bit. And if you want to dive in and learn how to sell digital products on Etsy that you create one time and sell over and over again, make sure you head over there to check it out.